Hello and welcome to Vision Vibes and today, we are breaking down the details of Rise of Singapore after 1971, the goals we aim to achieve, and the subsequent implications on the global stage. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to explore this multifaceted journey with us. Embark on a fascinating journey back in time to the Singapore of yesteryears before 1971. This was a time characterized by colonial rule, the atrocities of World War II, a brief yet impactful merger with Malaysia. The seeds of a nation were being sown in this tiny island state, a nation that would eventually stand independent in 1965. However, independence was not a panacea. Post-independence Singapore was a newborn nation grappling with crippling economic instability, a severe lack of resources, and simmering ethnic tensions. It found itself facing immense challenges in a world of giants, was a period of uncertainty, but also one of a hope that was deeply rooted in the resilience and tenacity of its people. The task ahead was gigantic, to build a nation from scratch amid these adversities, to carve out a place on the world stage, to ensure the survival and prosperity of its people despite the economic instability and resource constraints. With independence came a daunting task, to transform this small island beset with challenges into a thriving nation. Little did the world know Singapore was about to embark on an incredible journey. Before we delve into the transformation, let's take a moment to consider the factors that influenced Singapore's journey. First, its geographical location. Nestled at the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula, Singapore sits at the crossroads of major trading routes. This strategic position opened doors for international commerce and foreign relations, but also exposed it to geopolitical tensions. Second, the multicultural and multilingual society. The diverse cultural tapestry of Singapore with its Chinese, Malay, Indian, and Eurasian communities brought richness but also complexity. The challenge was to forge a common national identity while respecting and celebrating this diversity. The result was a unique Singaporean culture, a melting pot of traditions and languages. Third, the stark reality of its lack of natural resources. With no significant deposits of oil, gas, or minerals, Singapore had to rely on human resource and sheer ingenuity for survival. The need for self-sufficiency drove the country towards developing a knowledge-based economy and investing heavily in education and skills training. These considerations were not just constraints, but opportunities that played a crucial role in shaping Singapore's strategic approach to nation-building. With these in mind, let's delve into how Singapore transformed itself from a struggling newborn nation to a thriving global city. From the ashes of a struggling third world nation, Singapore was poised for a transformation that would stun the world. This transformation was not accidental, but the result of a clear vision and unwavering determination of its leaders. Recognizing the monumental task ahead, they set about implementing strategic economic policies that would leverage Singapore's strengths and overcome its limitations. They sought foreign investment and opened the doors to multinational corporations, providing an attractive business environment with robust infrastructure, a strong legal framework, and a skilled workforce. They embarked on an ambitious plan to build a world-class port and airport, recognizing the strategic advantage of their geographic location. Importantly, they prioritized education, understanding that the nation's greatest resource was its people. They focused on equipping Singaporeans with the skills and knowledge necessary to thrive in a rapidly evolving global economy. They also established a strict anti-corruption framework, ensuring that the nation's growth would not be hindered by the scourge of corruption. This remarkable transformation from a third world nation to a first world country is a testament to Singapore's resilience and strategic vision. It is a story of a nation that refused to be defined by its limitations, but instead chose to redefine what was possible. As we move into 1971, the stage was set for Singapore to embark on the next phase of its incredible journey. 1971 was a pivotal year for Singapore. As the world grappled with the Cold War, the Vietnam War, and the ongoing race for space, Singapore was embarking on its own monumental journey. Despite the global political turmoil, this tiny island state was determined to chart its own course. Challenged by limited natural resources and a small domestic market, Singapore faced an uphill task. Yet it was precisely this adversity that galvanized the nation. The Singaporean leadership, under the stewardship of Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, was steadfast in its vision. They saw Singapore not as a small island, but as a global city. 
a city that could attract foreign investment, create jobs, and provide a high standard of living for its people. And so, they devised a strategic plan. A plan that would see Singapore open its doors to the world, leverage its strategic location, and build a robust economy. This plan was not without its risks. It required a delicate balance between maintaining political stability and fostering economic growth. It called for a strong commitment to education, infrastructure development, and social harmony. But the Singaporean leadership was prepared to take on this challenge. They understood that the future of the nation depended on their ability to transform Singapore into a thriving global city. This was the stage set for Singapore's remarkable journey. As the world watched on, Singapore was ready to defy the odds and embark on an incredible journey of transformation. The year 1971 marked the start of a new chapter for Singapore. In the wake of gaining independence, Singapore was a small nation with limited natural resources. Yet the leaders of this tiny island had a vision to transform Singapore into a thriving economic powerhouse. And so they set out to lay the groundwork for this ambitious goal. One of the first key moves was the implementation of economic reforms. Singapore's leaders understood that for the nation to prosper, it needed to attract foreign investment. Thus, they adopted policies that favored free trade and open markets. They also established the Economic Development Board to create jobs and promote economic growth, focusing heavily on the manufacturing sector. Concurrently, the government recognized that a prosperous nation needed a robust infrastructure. Thus, the Housing Development Board was established. Its role was to ensure that every Singaporean had access to affordable, quality housing. This not only improved living standards but also fostered a sense of nationhood among the residents. But Singapore's leaders knew that for the nation to truly thrive, they needed to invest in its most valuable resource, its people. Therefore, a strong emphasis was placed on education. Schools and universities were built, and the curriculum was designed to equip students with the skills needed in a modern economy. The government also initiated vocational training programs to prepare those who were more inclined towards technical skills for the workforce. In tandem with these efforts, the government also focused on infrastructure development. They invested heavily in building world-class ports, airports, and road networks. These infrastructures facilitated trade and commerce, attracting multinational corporations to set up their regional headquarters in Singapore. These strategic moves set the foundation for an economic miracle that was about to unfold. While Singapore's transformation was largely driven by its shift to a manufacturing-based economy, it didn't stop there. As the world began to evolve towards the end of the 20th century, so did Singapore's economic strategies. Recognizing the growing importance of knowledge and innovation in the global economy, Singapore made a strategic pivot towards a knowledge-based economy. This was a move characterized by a focus on innovation, technology, and intellectual capital as the key drivers of economic growth. The government saw the potential of the digital revolution and harnessed it. They invested in technology education, promoted entrepreneurship, and fostered a culture of innovation. The result was the birth of a vibrant tech ecosystem, home to both homegrown startups and global tech giants. Concurrently, the government also invested heavily in research and development. They established world-class research institutions, fostering collaborations between academia and industry. This was a move aimed at not just driving economic growth, but also solving real-world problems, from public health to environmental sustainability. This strategic shift beyond manufacturing has been instrumental in Singapore's continued economic success. It has allowed the nation to stay competitive in a rapidly changing world and has paved the way for the next chapter in Singapore's remarkable economic story. Singapore's transformation into a global economic powerhouse is nothing short of a miracle. From the early 70s, the city-state embarked on a path of rapid industrialization. The government recognized that Singapore's lack of natural resources necessitated a shift towards a manufacturing-based economy. Large-scale public housing projects were undertaken, and industries such as electronics, shipbuilding, and petrochemicals were actively developed. But industrialization was just the beginning. The government also made a strategic decision to woo foreign investors. A combination of strong rule of law, political stability, and a strategic geographical location made Singapore an attractive destination for multinational corporations. Companies like Shell, Philips, and General Electric set up operations in the city-state, 
bringing with them not just capital but also invaluable technical expertise and management know-how. Yet, none of this would have been possible without the development of a skilled workforce. The government invested heavily in education and vocational training, schools and technical institutes were built, and a comprehensive system of scholarships and study loans was introduced. The aim was clear to equip Singaporeans with the skills needed to drive the country's industrialization efforts. The result? An astonishing economic growth rate. In just 27 years from 1963 to 1990, Singapore's per capita GDP skyrocketed from a mere $400 to a staggering $11,845. The city-state had successfully transformed itself from a post-colonial backwater into a bustling metropolis and a beacon of prosperity. In a few short decades, Singapore had gone from a developing nation to one of the world's most prosperous countries. But what was the secret behind Singapore's remarkable rise? It's a question that has intrigued economists and policymakers worldwide. The answer lies in a blend of strong leadership, an unwavering focus on anti-corruption, the establishment of a meritocracy, and a pragmatic approach to governance. At the helm of this transformation was the visionary leader, Lee Kuan Yew. His leadership was instrumental in shaping the nation's trajectory. Lee's firm belief in the rule of law and his zero-tolerance stance on corruption created a clean, efficient government that became the envy of many nations. He led by example, demonstrating an unyielding commitment to integrity and transparency in the public sector. Meritocracy was another cornerstone of Singapore's success. The belief that everyone should have an equal opportunity to progress based on their abilities rather than their social standing or connections was deeply embedded in the nation's ethos. This principle drove a culture of hard work and continuous learning, fostering an environment where talent could thrive and contribute to the nation's growth. But perhaps the most pragmatic of Singapore's strategies was its focus on survival in a volatile world. Lee recognized that Singapore, a small island nation with limited natural resources, had to carve out a unique niche for itself. As a result, he emphasized the importance of a multicultural society where diversity was not just tolerated, but celebrated. This multiculturalism became a strength, fostering a sense of unity and shared destiny that transcended ethnic differences. Furthermore, Singapore built strategic international alliances, understanding that in an interconnected world, partnerships were vital for progress. Its internationalist outlook helped it to attract foreign investment and build strong trade relations further fueling its economic success. Together, these elements formed the secret sauce that powered Singapore's rise. Each ingredient from strong leadership to strategic alliances played a crucial role in the nation's transformation from a small port city to a global economic powerhouse. Fast forward to today, and Singapore stands as a shining beacon of success. This small island nation, once limited by its size and resources, has blossomed into a global financial hub. It's a testament of what strategic vision and relentless pursuit of excellence can achieve. The Lion City, as it's affectionately known, boasts a high standard of living, with its citizens enjoying top-tier healthcare, education, and infrastructure. Singapore's success isn't just measured by its glittering skyscrapers or its bustling port, but also by the well-being of its people. The city-state has one of the highest life expectancies in the world, and its education system consistently ranks among the best globally. This focus on human development underlines the nation's belief in its greatest resource, its people. The Singapore of today also continues the tradition of innovation, constantly embracing and adapting to change. It's a hotbed for startups and a magnet for international businesses, making it a vibrant, dynamic, and competitive economy. But it's not just about economic prowess. The city-state is also committed to sustainable living and is rapidly evolving into a smart nation using digital technology to enhance lives and businesses. Beyond its borders, Singapore plays an influential role in global diplomacy. Despite its size, it has managed to carve out a significant place on the international stage. Known for its neutrality, it often serves as a mediator in international disputes and hosts important diplomatic meetings. It's a testament to the nation's vision and diplomatic acumen. Singapore's multicultural society also stands as a model of harmony and unity amidst diversity. It's a melting pot where different cultures not only coexist but also enrich each other, adding to the unique fabric of the nation. From a small island nation to a global powerhouse, Singapore's journey is a testament to its resilience and strategic vision. So, there you have it, the story of Singapore's incredible rise. 
We've journeyed through time, from the early days of struggle before 1971, all the way to the present, where Singapore stands as a global powerhouse. Its journey underscores the transformative power of visionary leadership, strategic planning, and an unwavering commitment to development. Singapore's economic miracle wasn't achieved overnight. It was the result of decades of relentless effort, innovative policies, and a keen internationalist outlook. The nation's multicultural society and alliances have only strengthened its global influence, proving that diversity can indeed be a strength. Estonia and Qatar, other small states, have shown similar resilience and strategic positioning, demonstrating that size doesn't limit a nation's potential. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. Singapore, though small in size, is mighty in ambition and achievement, and its story continues to inspire nations around the world. Let's delve deeper into one of the key factors behind Singapore's success, its unique development model, often referred to as the Singapore model. This model is built on three significant pillars, meritocracy, pragmatism, and honesty. Meritocracy ensures that opportunities are available to everyone based on their abilities and talents, not their backgrounds or connections. Pragmatism, on the other hand, encourages policies that work rather than those that merely sound good. And honesty underscores the government's commitment to transparency and integrity, a crucial factor in building public trust and ensuring effective governance. This model has been instrumental in Singapore's rapid economic growth and social development. Its emphasis on meritocracy has nurtured a competitive and highly skilled workforce, while its pragmatic approach has resulted in efficient and effective policies. The unwavering commitment to honesty has kept corruption at bay, a feat not easily achieved in many countries. The Singapore model's success has not gone unnoticed. It has significantly influenced many developing nations, providing a roadmap for their own growth and development. This influence is evident in countries like Rwanda and Vietnam, both of which have adopted aspects of the Singapore model to drive their own economic and social progress. In conclusion, the Singapore model, with its unique blend of values and strategies, continues to be a beacon of inspiration for nations worldwide. It is the embodiment of Singapore's spirit, small but mighty, practical yet ambitious, and above all, unyieldingly honest. As we turn the pages of Singapore's story, it is clear that this model will continue to play a pivotal role in the nation's future chapters. Thank you for joining us on this comprehensive exploration of a journey through rise of Singapore after 1971. Secrets which have struggled to find common ground have been unveiled, and we've seen how Singapore has risen to become a beacon of inspiration for nations worldwide. We hope this deep dive into Singapore's remarkable transformation has provided you with a wealth of knowledge and insights. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more related videos like this. Your support goes a long way in helping us create more content that educates, informs, and inspires. Do you want to help us spread the word about Singapore's incredible journey? One of the easiest ways to do this is by giving this video a thumbs up. Your likes motivate us to continue producing high-quality content. Moreover, sharing is caring. Share this video with friends and family so they too can learn about the rise of Singapore after 1971. Who knows, you might spark a conversation that leads to even more learning and understanding. As always we appreciate your time and support. Stay tuned for more insightful videos. We promise to keep bringing you compelling stories and critical insights from around the world. Your journey of learning with us is far from over. Until next time keep exploring, keep learning, and keep sharing. Remember, knowledge is power. Thank you.